Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Alien on the Atari 2600, one of the most unlikely movies imaginable to be turned into a Pac-Man clone. Is it good? Let's find out! In space, no one can hear you complain about a bad video game. Except this game isn't bad. Contrary to my 2000 review of Alien in The Real Game Room, I actually like this Pac-Man clone based on 1979's science fiction horror masterpiece, Ridley Scott's Alien. For the Atari 2600, if the Atari gets a Pac-Man clone based on Alien, why can't I get a Tapper clone based on The Shining? If my money's no good here, yet Lloyd keeps serving me haunted or not, that's my favorite bar. And I want a video game based on it. Red ROM, Red ROM, high score! Woo! If you've been watching Classic Game Room for a while, you know that this is the second time that I've reviewed Alien for the Atari 2600. And there's no way I'm going to be able to outdo the original review from 2000, which was the review during the real Game Room review. A, a parody of the real world with the Game Room from 2000. This was the game. But I'm gonna play it again, it's many years later now. And I have an appreciation for Pac-Man clones that don't suck. And this doesn't suck. It doesn't have much to do with Alien, but I like that they tried. It's also better than the actual Pac-Man on Atari 2600 since they made such a complete mess out of that game. If you like Pac-Man, and you like Atari, and you like Alien, here you go. Before the Alien series became a thing, before 1986's Aliens from James Cameron, we had Alien, which was no doubt greenlit because of Star Wars. Even though it wasn't like a fun science fiction action film, that didn't stop them from making a video game based on it. I mean, what the hell, Porky's got a game, right? The fact is the Atari 2600 is very resilient. It can withstand some beer being poured on it. This is true, it has been field tested. It will not withstand sulfuric acid though, so don't shoot any aliens in the vicinity of your Atari 2600. They're nasty little creatures, which is why you're collecting their eggs in this game. To make a delicious omelet. This is also one of the only Atari games I can think of where you have a flamethrower, that's right. You can try to shoot the aliens with fire, but, and here's the brilliant thing, the flamethrower does about as much damage as the flamethrower in the movie Alien. Not Aliens, the first one, Alien. Which is, to say not much, you'd be better off using harsh language. If you're surrounded by aliens, you can try to light them on fire, maybe it'll startle them and they'll change direction, maybe it won't. You really can't rely on the flamethrower in this game. You can, however, rely on the power pellets. I don't remember them from the movie, but maybe that was in the extended cut. On future Laserdisc. The real beauty of this game is that it plays way better than Pac-Man on the Atari 2600. I'm using the Sega Genesis controller, it's responsive. And that's good because the game gets really fast as you keep playing it. I love the frogger scenes in between levels. Just try to avoid the aliens. They'll run right by you. Now, you have loads of aliens games to choose from these days, and I'm glad to say this one is a lot better than Alien 3 on the Sega Genesis. In fact, it's probably better than Aliens Colonial Marines, too. Alien Isolation's not bad, though. Very different game. Get back here. As you broaden your depth of collecting for the Atari 2600, you reach a certain point where you have all the big games, and 
What you're left with is a bunch of oddball titles. You have a flamethrower in this game, why doesn't it kill the enemies? Some of which are truly horrible, others are surprisingly good, like this. Alien doesn't cost all that much, you can find a copy eBayably on eBay. Search with the power of Classic Game Room through the Classic Game Room website and... I've got a Classic Game Room. Sulfuric Acid Fueled shout out and thank you going all the way to Gary from Ridgewood. Wait for it. New Jersey! Thank you for sending a copy of Alien on the 2600 to the show. I lost my old one years ago. Maybe I sold it to buy a blender. Now, now that was the Jaguar, and I'm kind of regretting that decision these days. Flamethrowers only do so much damage against aliens, but they're really good against space balls. This game is excellent if you're looking for a fun Pac-Man clone on your 2600. Check it out, it's Alien from 1982. Visit Classic Game Room every day for the CGR game of the day. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From New Jersey. Michael Fernandez. People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver! Woo! EDF! Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia! Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna, Austria. Austria! Cue the thunder! Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Cue the lava! I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh hi, Cunny! Master of Thunder! Chip Sankvale! Fighter of Space Bees! Woo! Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson! Nelson. Fighters of the future! That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud, and the party rocking, for... Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular. Will. Will. Will? Will? Will. Will.